Hello everyone, this is a demonstration of how a traditional watercolor artist can enter the world of digital painting and achieve more or less the same watercolor effect in digital medium. Watercolor is a unique medium and there are certain aspects and techniques that make it unique. The transparency, the flow of paint, texture of the paper all give watercolor paintings that unique look. For a traditional artist who would like to come to digital painting, there are different applications both on mobile and desktop platforms. However, not all of them produce similar results. A couple of years ago, I wanted to try digital painting. I tried different applications at that time. My goal was to leverage my knowledge and workflow in watercolor and use them on a computer rather than trying to learn a completely new digital workflow. I wanted my digital paintings to look real watercolor despite the fact that I drew on a computer. That's when I found an application called Rebel. Rebel was developed by a company called Escape Motions. I found that Rebel's UI language and workflow are designed for traditional watercolor artists. At that time, Rebel was version 3. Ever since, Rebel grew to incorporate many features such as real pigment mixing, nanopixels, oil paintings, and many other. In this demonstration, I will be painting a very simple summer landscape in Rebel. Side by side with that, I will also paint the same landscape on a sheet of paper using real watercolor. That way you can see how some of the traditional watercolor techniques can port over to Rebel in a digital workflow. I already have the sketch on the paper here on the right hand side. On the left, I have Rebel running on the screen. Rebel is a Windows application. To be able to draw using a pen, you will either need a graphic tablet or a pen display attached to your computer. Another option is to use a laptop with pen support such as Microsoft Surface Pro. A third way is that if you have an Android tablet with pen support, you can install an application called Super Display and connect the tablet to the computer via USB or Wi-Fi. That's exactly what I am doing here. I have my Samsung S8 Plus tablet mirroring the screen of my computer here and I am using Samsung S Pen as the stylus. Now let me do the exact same sketching in Rebel. For sketching, I use the pencil tool in Rebel. Now I am going to start painting on the paper with a plain wash of yellow. I plan to use only the primary colors yellow, blue and red and mix the secondary colors and tertiary colors as needed. Specifically, the colors I use here are ultramarine blue, crimson lake and lemon yellow. I use lots of water and wet in wet technique for my first layers. Now I want to create some drips of paint, so I am tilting the paper. I am adding a few more blobs of paint for that extra wet in wet bloom effects. Now I am gonna repeat the same process in Rebel. Rebel has a mixing palette. You can pick colors from the main palette and put them into the mixing palette. Rebel has all necessary tools such as brush, color picker, blending tool and eraser on the mixing palette. If mixing palette is not already visible, you can access it from the window menu from the menu bar. One feature Rebel introduced from version 5 is the real pigment mixing. In most digital art programs, when you mix blue and yellow together, you get another bluish shade. But in real watercolor, when you mix blue and yellow, you get green. With the introduction of real pigment mixing, you get that exact same traditional watercolor behavior. Now I am going to start painting with a yellow wash just like we did on the paper. I use the watercolor brush tool here. Once you select the watercolor tool, you can control the brush size, opacity and the amount of water from the watercolor parameters panel. To create the drips, we have a drip tool in Rebel. You can control the length, width and angle of the drips. It's so much fun to watch the colors flow down the paper. You can see that the color has already dripped down. Now I am adding more color to the already wet paper. 
Since the paper is already wet and dripping is turned on, the color spread and also drip down at the same time. Now let me move to the paper and start painting the sky. Before putting any paint to the paper, I am going to pre-wet the paper. This is a usual technique that we use in real watercolor when we have a large area to paint. Pre-wetting allows the paint to spread evenly on the paper. I use ultramarine blue and crimson lake for the sky. Now I am going to repeat the same process in Rebel. I will be using a flat brush for this because I use a flat brush for the real watercolor as well. In Rebel, to wet specific parts of the paper, there is a water tool. Now I am applying water to the parts of the paper where I will be painting the sky. By default, Rebel shows the wet areas using a blue shade. You can turn that on or off in the layers panel. Now I use more or less the same technique I used for painting the sky as I did with the real watercolor. I use lots of water with blue and red shades. Next I move back to the paper and finish the tree. Then I repeat the same process on the digital paper. You can see that in both places I mix all my colors from the primary colors yellow, blue and red. Now the remaining are the trunk of the tree and the small house under it. Let me finish them too on both sides. I think there are very few drips on the painting on the right side, so I want to add a few more. I hope I won't ruin it. I don't think I did a very good job of that, but you get the idea. Now some final touches. Here is the final output. I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I did. This is only a tiny introduction to Rebel. Rebel has many other features and we have barely scratched the surface of it. You can check out Rebel on Escape Motion site. There is a free trial that you can download. I will provide the link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.